Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Patrol Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Patrol. If you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you how to machine the OD of a part using the highlighted bar out function, and I'll be using a VBMT tool with an edge angle of less than 90 degrees. This is the continuation of my previous video where I showed you how to set the Z geometry for this type of tool. All right, let's get started. All right, here's our next workpiece that we're gonna be programming. This angle here is 60 degrees and we need that VBMT to get in here to machine this part. So this is what the tool looks like that we just programmed and set on the previous video. So this is what we're going to use to rough and finish the OD of this workpiece. So what we're going to do is go to the program that we already have started here and what I want to do is I want to put this 250 thousandths chamfer and I want to machine the OD of this part three inches long with tool four which is this CNMG 432 and then I want to show you the reason for the highlighted bar out So now push bar, highlighted out, cutting point on X is going to be 3.2 inches, and the cutting point on Z is going to be 500 thousandths, but I'm going to put a 30 thousandths radius in here, so I need to make this starting point 0.470. and then surface speed auto and on the depth I'm going to change it to 50 thousandths and then tool 2 offset 1 offset 1 so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to program this taper here first so push taper starting corner push 30 thousandths radius Starting point on X is 3.2. Starting point on Z for the taper is 500 thousandths. So 0.5. Final point on X is going to be 2.6 inches down to here. And the final point on Z is going to be a question mark. final corner I can put the final corner here or I can put it on the horizontal line either way works so I'll do it on the next one but what we need to do is calculate this endpoint with a 60 degree angle on a negative value so minus 60 input surface roughness is 7 and then we're going to go linear. Starting corner, now, we'll, now we're going to put the radius in here of 250. Radius, 0.250. 2.6. And the final point on Z down here is not specified. So I have to put a question mark in there. But I can't do it on a horizontal line. So I'm going to leave it at zero for now, and then I'm going to create this 60 degree angle going up the face. So final corner, radius 0.250, 7, 
paper, continue. And now this is where we're going to put in the question mark. Final point on X is 3.2 inches. Final point on Z is going to be 2 inches. Here. And the final corner is radius 0.03 with a taper angle of 60 degrees positive. 7, down arrow, shape in, end. So right button, calculate. So it calculated our point of 1.8268, but we need to put it over here because we it won't automatically backtrack it. So 1.8268. Right button, figure check. Scale to input. Scale one. And there's our work piece. I'm going to change the length to 3.5. That way we actually have some stock to machine it. Scale input. Program check. Check continue. So this is tool number four. And tool four is going to finish it. And then tool two is plunging down into the material, but it's not cutting on that OD. So that's what the highlighted bar out option is, is it changes the direction of the roughing pass for the tool. So if the bar was finished and then all you needed to do was machine a feature in the middle of it and you did not want to machine the, the bar on either end, then you would use the highlighted bar out option. All right, let's go ahead and run this. We already have the program called up. We have the work shift set. So now we just need to run the part. Here comes tool two.
we're done. And there's our finished part. If you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Thanks for watching.